Hello, I am Jody Wolf, and you're watching Expose, August 15, 2012, 127 a.m., Birmingham, Alabama. Topic, Israel, it's time. Um, a lot of events, a lot of things have happened and taken place in the last three days. And uh, I'm going I'm to get to them in just a moment. But remember, in Ezekiel 38, 39, it talks about what is going to happen in an Israel and who is it going to happen with. So we know the players and the names and who they are. Um, so, in Ezekiel chapter 29, verse 11, Egypt will be laid waste for 40 years. And I've talked about this. I've talked about the Tower of Syene. You, there's two dams, Oz 1 low and Oz 1 high. And at the Oz 1 high dam stands a tower of Syene. That is the name of it. It was built by Russia in the last, uh, I'm going to say 20 to 30 years. But the Bible mentions that by name, 4,000 years ago. So how is that? Oh, well, the tower, I mean, the Bible, as you know, is correct in every detail. So it talked about the tower of Siam. It talked about the waters would cover the lands, specifically. Um, God said, Behold, I am against thy rivers, and the land of Egypt will be utterly waste and desolate from the tower of Syene, which is at the Aswan High Dam, unto the border of Ethiopia. It's biblical. It's right there. And it was 4,000 years ago written, but the tower of Syene was just installed with Aswan High Dam just a few years ago. But in any case, there it is. Egypt will be laid waste. And, as I said, Damascus, um, prepare, you may even watch it on TV soon, to be removed off of the map. Um, so, oh, by the way, it would take a nuclear blast to destroy Oswan High Dam. Um, a conventional blast wouldn't do it. So Egypt, as you know, fell to a coup this past weekend. It was the fi it was finalized on Sunday, August twelfth, two thousand twelve, by the Muslim Brotherhood. They are in complete charge in the, in uh, Egypt. And something else, I don't know if you know this or not, but you will soon. Egypt today has sixty M eighty tanks on the southern border, which is Israel's northern border. Why did they do this? And ironically, those tanks were supplied by America when Mubarak was there. That was part of their, their agreement, our agreement with them, among other things. But anyway, this has happened in the last two days. These tanks has been put on that border, lined up, and they came out of nowhere. No one knew where they were. So, today, Israel has missiles on one border, tanks on another, and massive amount of weapons on another. Israel is surrounded by the ring of fire right now, which includes three Russian ships, I think uh, aircraft carrier and perhaps two warships or battleships, and at least two nuclear submarines, one in the Mediterranean, and one may be in the Red Sea. Um, and I mentioned a long time ago, I did not believe these were war games. They have yet to start the war games. So I think I was right on that too. Um, but what has happened is just uh, uh, a continued erosion of the Muslim lands around Israel. They're preparing. I mean, it's biblical. They're simply preparing to take out Israel, to destroy Israel. But there's one problem here. Um, number one, was this a surprise to Israel 
to see these tanks, to see all these missiles come, to see some of the missiles actually have gas in them. No, it wasn't a surprise. It didn't surprise Israel, believe me. Um, so if I, as I have stated every time, their intentions are to wipe Israel off the map. Iran says that, and here of late, Syria says it, and now Egypt is saying it. And, and Turkey is standing as neutral as they can, but they will come into this war. Um, but let me tell you the four things that's going to happen when this does come to fruitation, when it does start. Number one, it'll be a major victory for Israel. Number two, Israel will end up with a major amount of spoils of war. Number three, the task of burying the dead will take Israel seven months. And I'll tell you a little bit more about that in another blog. Um, the Muslims will be burying the Muslims above the, in, in certain places, not where they died on the mountains surrounding Israel. Israel will have them moved. And the Muslims will be working for the Jews. Didn't know this. And number four, Israel's borders will expand and it may even double in size. And uh, as you know, it won't take much for Israel to double in size because Israel is a tiny country. But remember, every war since May the 5th, 1948, one day after they became a nation, was their first war. They gained land at that time. In the other wars, there's been four. Each one, Israel has continued to gain land. So why should it stop? It's not going to stop. Israel will be in a war that you may very well watch on TV in the very near future. And you will see Israel win this war, but you'll see a supernatural event occur that you, it'll be hard for you to believe, but it's going to happen. This is why God said his fury is thrown up in his face. That's it. They're ready. We're ready. And let the games begin. Jody Wolf, Expose.